Alright guys, so Cooking Our Kingdom has uploaded the update sneak peek for the next update as well as the following update. So let's look at this together and then see exactly what we're getting. And then tomorrow most likely the update patch note will come out. So I will update you guys on that as well. So first, update sneak peek, Wings of Eternity featuring the new Awaken or quote unquote immortal golden cheese cookie so here we go a quick introduction the golden sovereign awakens and learns how this land of spice and ruin came to be and so the battle to protect her treasures begins is destruction inevitable in the ever-changing tides of change may golden cheese cookies golden heart shine radiantly and may her name go down in history all right so let's look at what we're getting here First, of course, it is going to be Beasties Episode 6, alright? So, we're going to go and fight, you know, Bernie Spice Cookie is what's going to happen here. Alright, so we do have that. We'll see how this one unfolds. And the next one is going to be the Soul Prisms as well as new Legendary Biscuits, alright? It does look like Legendary Biscuit as when you are able to go and choose which one you want to get. And it does look like once you do clear 6-30, you are going to be able to get some Soul Prisms as well for the new awakened golden cheese next awakened golden cheese or the new title quote-unquote immortal golden cheese cookie we do have the you know same kind of situation here with dark cacao where we have the original form and then once you get two star four star and the last six star you're going to get some additional background art as well uh change for the avatar all right so ancient golden cheese cookie range in the middle with the skill radiance of the immortal so the skill icon did change a little bit the animation itself doesn't change completely like too much uh it's the same arrows going down on the ground the wings though however does fly out really really uh you know uh big uh on the screen and you do see a bunch of like literally it looks like an airstrike uh, is what, what it looks like all right but with arrows instead Okay, and the next one is going to be Smoke Cheese Cookie. I laughed at this one because Smoke Cheese Cookie is going to be a magic cookie. And literally, this skill is called Get Smoked, right? So, I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, so, we do have that as well. Smoke Cheese Cookie finally coming out and playable inside of the game after more than a year, honestly, right? Uh, since Golden Cheese Cookie has come out. And the next one is going to be the Earth Type Cookie Balance Update. So, it does look like... Uh, not only are the three original uh, getting some balances, but also Latte as well as Espresso and Almond are receiving a element here of Earth and going to be getting some balances uh, and changes as well. So looking forward to that. And then we do also have the Gotcha as well. And the next one is going to be the Golden Cheese Cookies Chest of Trophies. This one also does seem to have um, the pools that you're able to, uh, you know, get the soul prisons as well as golden cheese uh you know awakened form as well so uh it looks like we are able to get some extra you know pulls possibly the soul prisms inside of this uh new event as well so we'll see how this one turns out and then we do have the new town square lost and found and it did seem like this one also is giving out some extra you know rewards uh, most likely uh and it seems mostly towards the actual like uh town square stuff like the coins and things like that but uh it does look like we do have a new event uh for us to kind of you know do and uh just just uh, take advantage of new icing themes uh the kufi as well as the or the coffee and as well as the uh, golden Ch uh, cheese city one uh that we have so we do have that and then we also do have the quality of life update that they talked about inside of the live stream and it is going to be that the actual production time requirement as well as it does look like the lavatory uh time requirement is also decreasing by 30 percent so for all of you guys who are like oh you know the lavatory takes too long and stuff like that it does look like it's going to be a little bit faster now all right uh and then also the bounty uh, i'm not sure if it's just a coin but it does look like the bounty uh, itself is kind of increasing. The amount that you're able to get is also changing as well. All right. So we do have the quality of life update. And we do have some new production items being added. It does look like it's just uh, more, uh, more, you know, that you're able to craft uh, in a bulk. So that you don't need to log in every single like couple hours or a couple minutes to go and, you know, farm these things. All right. 
And then next update after the Awakened Golden Cheese Cookie comes out is going to be the new avatar of Ruin Master Mode, uh, Master Master Difficulty that's going to be added into uh, the game. All right, so we do have that. And it does show inside of the game the timer, so you you'll know when it comes out. And then we also do have the uh, turmeric uh, boar boss event. Uh, this is very similar to the dumpling one that we have had before uh, with the Mystic Flower one. So it's going to be coming out with the Master Mode. Uh, so we we won't see this the upcoming update. All right, uh, it does look like it's just another little thing that you could do to gain rewards as well as some extra pulls most likely and uh, some extra, you know, benefits uh, as well with the new bell event. It does look like this is going to come out with the master mode and the boar uh, and you're able to get some bell of glory, which did have some extra benefits uh, for you guys uh, that that affects not only the world exploration, but the beasties and uh, other things like that as well. All right, and then we also do have the new theme in the Gotcha of Fate. Uh, so I talked about this before. The current one with the apathy or, and resolution, which is going to be the one with, um, you know, gold uh, with Mystic Flower as well as uh, Darker Cow. That one's uh, not disappearing, and the pity of the 300 is not resetting. However, with the new one that comes out, you're gonna have a separate 300. And for those of you guys who are wondering whether you guys should spend the tickets or not, uh, the tickets do disappear, so just use it for that time being. Um, and then, you know, the cookie cutters, though, is going to stay there forever. Uh, you can use it on this new theme or the current theme. It just depends on which one you want, which one you want to, uh, you know, work towards three, for the 300. So just keep that in mind when you guys are spending it, all right? And the next one is going to be the Young Kofi. I don't know why they're putting a guest. It has been a while since we had a guest. Uh, they decided to put in a guest, uh, and that's gonna be Young Kofi. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what what the thought process was on this one. Uh, I guess just a new little little uh, guest that you can have. I think the last guest cookie that we had was Twisted Donut from Tower of Ventures, uh, and then we haven't had one. So I guess we can have the Kofi uh, running around the kingdom for you guys if you guys uh, do obtain it. I don't know how you guys obtain it. Maybe they just give it out for free. Uh, maybe it's a login event uh, bonus. We'll see how it goes. All right. And the next one is going to be something surprising. So we uh, knew the new costume was coming out, but we were wondering where it went because only sorbets as well as peppermint was uh, actually, you know, introduced as well as released so everyone was like hey where where, where is frill jellyfish um and so surprise surprise uh they did release the new costume as well as a new magic candy for her as well uh so i actually didn't know this was gonna happen but apparently there's a magic candy coming out no real details on what the magic candy is gonna do uh this is going to come out the again update after the upcoming update so we won't know the details until then but yeah we, we have it so uh, watch out for that the costume does look really really nice um was you know something that people were looking forward to i guess as well and furrow jellyfish was a good unit uh for the one shot comes of course nowadays it's not something that we use normally but you know it, it it was something that was used all right so that is pretty much it we have the new immortal awakened golden cheese cookie coming out uh with the next update so looking forward to it uh people were wondering like oh it's gonna happen in november uh it's leading towards november so i guess that's what they decided to do because the time frame was uh kind of you know there it's literally like a day or two before november so it's pretty much basically the same thing as you know coming out in november so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think what you guys are excited for uh, i'm pretty excited for to uh to try this out and hopefully hopefully my gotcha look is a little bit better this time around but thanks for watching guys and if you guys have checked out the analysis of the trailer video then please do uh check that out as well thanks for watching